I know there's magnetar quartz. Or, oh, wow. My goodness, that's pretty. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we have a lot to do. Um, I spent quite a bit of time off camera uh, getting Tier 3 extractors set up in multiple locations. And I showed you at the very beginning of the episode here uh, the things that unlocked as a part of that process, including the fact that we are now at the amphibian stage and well on our way towards the mammal stage uh so let's see one of the very cool things that unlocked of course was the tier six backpack um oh that requires a magnetar quartz how about that and a blazar quartz all right um i think we can get both i know for sure we can get a magnetar quartz and i think we can maybe get a blazar quartz also in the rainbow caves uh so we will go check that out at some point during this episode that is the plan oh look at that we just got the butterfly farm that's amazing because that's really going to get us uh give us a boost in insects um so yeah let's look at a couple things here i am man <laughs> we're so damn close to just maxing out everything uh in the terraformation area um i want though to uh, I want to get to the T2 gas extractor, and I want to get the um, the big storage bin, which we have to do from you know from from the um, selling rocket before we really ser get serious about production lines. Um, so and, and really, probably even the T2 beehive too. So. We'll keep, you know, working, of course, towards those things. Uh, the outdoor farm also unlocked, as you saw at the beginning of the video, which is great because that can get us started with um, a, a food production farm. And I think I'm, I, I have an idea of where I think I'm going to put the food production farm. The purpose of the food production farm will be food for us to eat, of course, but also uh, to sell the excess. Um, and what I would like to do, I think, is set that up over in the wetlands area because it's just so beautiful over there and uh, I have a spot kind of in mind if it'll work you know if, if we have the right space for it uh so yeah I have um I, I launched a few more rockets off camera too so everything that you know the four categories here are now sitting at five thousand percent so we got that going uh, we still need to get a, a higher level GPS satellite launched at some point that's not a huge priority but it is a priority and let's take, let me save the game because, again, sometimes the map causes me to crash. But let me just kind of show you what I did in terms of the extractor. So I have set up in this area here. Uh, we've got a tier three extractor here. We have one here, one here, and one here. So all four of those points have a tier three extractors and they're explicitly getting or exclusively exclusively getting uh, zeolite, osmium, super, and iridium. And then I also have an, an, a, a sulfur, I'm sorry, not a sulfur, a, um, what's this called? Uranium, yeah. I have a uranium one set up here that's exclusively getting uranium. And then I also set up over here um, at the waterfall, which is back this way. Man, there's there's a lot of empty space out there. Yeah, so I set up a tier three here at the sulfur uh, node there, uh, and it's exclusively getting sulfur. And then I also set one up in the lava biome, probably right about here-ish, and that's getting obsidian for us. Okay, so we have those tier three uh, extractors set up. It looks like we might have a pulsar quartz meteorite coming in. 
Oh no, that's just normal, a normal storm. And um, so one of the main goals for today's episode is I want to get our drones set up and going. Um, and, our, and the first task I'm going to assign the drones is just to make sure that all of our bins are are are, complete, are always filled up. Uh, most of these already are, but uh, I, I'm talking more actually the higher level stuff. Um, so I, I will assign the drones to just start bringing all of that, or this one's completely full, and keeping these full at all times so that way when we need the stuff, it's there. Um, and that's just kind of a preliminary task for them. We would, you know, once we get production, uh, major production lines going up, then of course they'll be working on that stuff. But I want to get them going, and maybe if we have an opportunity, we'll also set up um, our first sales rocket in this episode too. So as far as that goes, hey, we just got some frog eggs. Oh, actually, that reminds me, I am working on silkworms because we need silk in order to make the plankton thingy. But, uh, okay, what do we got here? We got another silkworm here. So I've got a total of four made. We can get the first one set up now. Uh, what do we need for this? We need a Zeo, a water, and an O2 capsule. All right, so let's get uh, a Zeolite. Actually, you know what? I think I have a couple of those in overflow. Or miscellaneous, I guess. Uh, O2 capsule. And we'll grab an extra water here. Let's set these up over along here, if they'll fit without, and still allow us to get through. I think they will, I don't think they're, actually no, I'm gonna hold them back more this way. And I can still get to this, right? Yeah. Oh, that's another thing too. We've got, we now have Emora tree seeds. These have 400% multiplier, which is actually better than the 350 percent that the golden seed flowers do. Uh, I am definitely planning on redoing our forest out there, which we actually, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it just popped in. Uh, redoing our forest out there too. Um, okay, so we got this going and it should start making silk for us, but I want to make a second one of those as well. Yeah, so we need to make two more silkworms. That's an uncommon, a bacteria, and a furt. Let's grab a bacteria an uncommon and a fertilizer. So so I'll I'll have two of those going at all times. There we go. But um we could actually if we wanted to um we can make if if we needed to for some reason which I can't think of off the top of my head but we can make fabric through here. So we, we could actually take the fabric that we have sitting in here and break it down to get the silk because we need silk for this guy. And this is what's going to get us plankton um, and, and fish eggs to get started with that sort of thing. So let's grab three cloth and let's break those down. Yeah, I have to do it one at a time. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Okay, that gave us uh I guess gave us six instead of three, because I guess it takes two of these to make a cloth. That makes sense. Um well then I guess we could do maybe two plankton farms. If we wanted to. Um alright, so what else do we need for this? We need So if we're gonna make two, we're gonna need four bios and two supers. Bioplastic, that is. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna have to break a rod down. Not a problem. I'm thinking about also putting up one tier three ore extractor for each of the basic types of ores, only for the sole purpose of having a constant supply of those things. I haven't decided for sure if I'm gonna do that though, because, you know, we're not gonna, we're not going to be using a ton of that stuff. We are going to be still use some of it, especially iron and I guess titanium for building. We need silicon for for crafting purposes. Um 
Yeah. Uh, but just to do it, you know, so that way we, we just have a, a constant, continual, reliable supply of it. That's lined up there correctly. Yep. Okay. All right. So we have enough to make these? Yes, we do. Let's put these guys... Where do we want to put them? Uh, oh, low hydration level. In fact, uh, let's eat something too. All right. Um, so I guess for now, we'll just put these over here somewhere where they're close enough by for us to get to without having to go a million miles away. We do have the teleporters now, too. It's just a matter of making them. They are expensive and they require a hell of a lot of power, too, but we will be setting those up. So let's put one of you here and one of you here. Okay, good. So, the, oh, I don't like that that's sitting in the dirt there. Let's get it out a little deeper. It's an aesthetic thing more than anything, I guess. Um. Hmm, maybe this water isn't really deep enough to do this. I mean, the game's obviously letting me place it there, but... I kind of like it to be in deeper water. Alright, yeah, let's, um, let's put these somewhere else. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, I guess we're going down into the canyon. I don't think the water down here is really deep enough anywhere for these. So, the next closest place would probably be over towards the... There. Can we grab these? Uh... Oh, look at that. We got frogs. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We haven't even done fish yet, though. We got to do fish before we do frogs. I mean, we don't technically have to, but let's go ahead and grab the frog eggs, though. Um, ooh. Can we put these in here? <laughs> we can. Um, why the hell not? It's deep enough water. Okay. So we'll put them there for now. All right, so let's head back to the base here. Um, here's our here's our place over here. Now, my idea for the drone the drones is to have a is to maybe hang them out this way. So, yeah, I think we could maybe do that. Let's, let's put these, let's put these guys in generic. Bro. Oh, shit, did I forget to research that? God, I could have sworn I hit that button, but I guess I didn't. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just put these in the larva case for now until we get something uh, more substantial for that. And look at that, we already have our first silk being made. Isn't that a beautiful thing? All right, um, what were we doing? Oh, right, we were talking about drones. I guess maybe before we do the drones, let's see if we can get that tier six backpack. That would be super handy to have. Uh, so put those back in there. Aluminum. I guess we have overflow of aluminum now. And I don't think we have an overflow, uh, overflow of silicon. Let's look at this again. Uh, okay, so to do this, we need a blazar and a magnetar. I've got all of the other stuff. I went and got a bunch of circuit boards, by the way, uh, from, you know, from some of the ships. We still have a lot of crash ships to go through, though. Um, and we're able now, of course, to make the fusion energy cells, too. And I have this stuff for that, so... That's on the to-do list, man. That's all I can tell you. It is on the to-do list. What does it take for us to make the uh, our first portal? Why don't we do this first? And then we'll take the materials. No, actually, let's not. Forget that. Scratch that. Never mind. We're not going to do that. Or are we? No, we're not. 
drink some water. Okay, let's go see if we can find a Blazar Quartz and a Magnetar Quartz. Those are going to be in the Rainbow Caves, which are down over in the area, near the area that I'm planning on building our residential home. Place where we can sit back, relax, put our feet up, have a beer in the evening, and rest from our toils during the day, and enjoy the absolutely fantabulous scenery. So pretty down here. Okay, so that's Pulsar. I I kind of poked my head back into these caves, but I haven't I haven't like explored them in great detail. Look at kind of the rainbow colors up there. That's neat. Um okay, I guess this is all there is to this cave. We can go back into here though. And this is Blazar. All right, let's grab one of those. We got a crate up there, but let's leave that alone for now. Now we're also looking for Magnetar. Oh, this is where we just came from, isn't it? Okay. Very cool, man. Look at the rainbow colors. This might be worthy of a screenshot. Uh, hold on. Let's get rid of our pin. There we go. We'll do, we'll do the chest later. This goes down in through here. Where does this go? All right, what's this? That's solar quartz. We don't need that right now. There's a... Oh, that's a piece of iron. It's green in color, so I thought it was a, a uranium for a minute there. I know there's magnetar quartz. Or, oh, wow. My goodness, that's pretty. Maybe that should be our screenshot. Okay. Um, if nothing else, is there anything in the water? If nothing else, um, there is that magnetar cave that's up on the cliff. Jeez, this is pretty. But Magnetar Quartz is purple. Blazar is blue. Let's go up through here. Um, alright. How about if we go around this way? goes back into quasar quasar quartz okay um let's go yeah this is back to pulsar okay let's go up here there's another cave up here that i know has magnetar in it um can we kind of scooch up that way ooh scoochy 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 this has magnetar quartz in it There we go. Nice. Okay. The rest of the stuff that we need for this backpack is we can get back at the base, I believe. But my plan, I think I've already shared this with you guys, but my plan is for us to have our, our living abode, our residential home, 
We're going to build it right on this cliff overlooking down into that canyon. So yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, so we just need a circuit board and an obsidian. An obsidian and a circuit board. All right, so right now we have a five by seven. Now let's see what we get. We have a five by the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that, <laughs> nice. So we just added another 10 slots to our backpack. That's amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. Next thing. Let's get, um, we got the water life collector thingy going. Um, let's get another silkworm going. So we need a, an uncommon, a bacteria and a fertilizer. Okay, sequencing started. Let's temporarily stick you there until we get to the third one, and then we'll make a second one of these. Let's pull you out. Um, maybe we should make a bin to store this silk, because uh, we're going to have quite a bit of it. Well, you know what? For now, I'm just going to... I'm just going to stick them in there. All right. Um, drone drone platform that is next so what do we need to make that we need an oz rod Ooh. okay we're gonna have to go get some osmium what else do we need we need to make um need to make a fusion energy cell so that's three pulsar two oz and an obsidian All right, we'll put this in the staging bin. Uh, what else do we need? A super alloy and three circuit boards. Super and three circuit boards. All right, so we're just gonna have to go get the osmium. We're gonna have to go get a batch of osmium to make the rod, which we can do. Uh, we should have a full thingy of it at the moment. So, yeah, I guess we'll do that next. Let's get our food topped off. Let's do a game save. While I'm thinking about it, let's grab some more bark out of here. This is already completely full of tree bark. You know what we ac actually should do while we're... Yeah, while we're waiting is I have one... Volnus flower seed right here that's uh, a 500 percent oxygen multiple well that it is by itself but we're going to actually turn it into the tree seed so we need a tree bark and probably a high level mutagen nope just a normal mutagen because see this will give us a 400 percent oxygen oxygen multiplier which is even better than the golden seed because the golden seed was only giving us 400. So let's get you, you, and you in there. And we'll get that started. And we need to keep our eyes peeled for more Volnus flowers. They are out there. They're fairly rare, um, but they are around. Um, so the plan for this forest... Well, the short-term plan for the forest is uh, to make two more tier three tree spreaders because I think I already have six down. Um, where's our, where's our optimizer? It's right here. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna be able to tell this from here. Um, yeah, it's uh. 
We can't really tell. I wish the optimizer itself would tell you, you know, uh, which stations it's doing. But I, th I think I have six of those down, or is it four? Gosh, I can't remember. It's really hard to run through the forest and try and count them because it's so thick through here, you know? But, well, maybe we can. We have, I know I'm getting totally sidetracked here. We have one, two, three, four, um, five, six, I think. Yeah, okay, so I think we do have six of those down. So I want to make two more tier three tree spreader, spreaders. And we'll pull up these tier ones here and put the the other tier threes down to give ourselves an even further boost in plants because plants are what I'm waiting on in order to get the tier two gas extractor. Once we hit that, then I'm probably going to redo that whole area. The general idea is we're going to pull everything up. We're going to first put down some grass spreaders and maybe some flower spreaders. Just so we can kind of have, a you know, something besides just sand on the forest floor. And then we will replace the tier three spreaders. But we'll spread them out a little bit more so they're not quite so bunched up. Because at that point, I'm not really worried about the optimizer as much as I'm worried about having a nice forest. But one that's not so thick that we can't hardly move through it. Uh, plus, you know, that also probably has some kind of an impact on performance though I've not really had any trouble with performance in this game um, on my computer I got a pretty powerful machine I've had trouble with stability in the game but not performance so we'll see all right so let's grab all of these since we're here mm, I already got a full chest of zeolite and some extra yeah let's not let's not get more zeolite what we could do, though, is run over here and grab a load of iridium and then make some more explosive powder. All this backpack space, man. That's wonderful. And since we're not too far away, we might as well grab a load of, of super alloy, too, which is just going to be right over here. Nice. Okay. Now, once I get the drones set up, then we're going to come back and we're going to set all of these as suppliers. Which tells the drones, come and grab this out of here and take it to a demander. Which, for starters, is just going to be the storage bins inside of our base to make sure that they're chalked full. But we will be, you know, uh, well, actually, we'll probably keep it that way all the time. But then, of course, as we start doing production chains, the drones will have more other jobs to do besides just that. But yeah, I wanted, um, I wanted something besides just sand on the forest floor, you know. And uh, we don't really have a dirt producing option in this game. So the next best thing is grass and flowers. Dump the supers in there. We can put a couple of rids in there and then these iridiums are for, you know, making um, explosive powder. We need to make an osmium rod. And we'll put the rest of the oz in here. And now we should have everything to make the drone platform. But we're also, I'm also going to put it on some foundations. Just want to see how big it is. Okay, so it would fit on two foundations wide. I want to do it like this. So probably if we came out... We could actually come out from this one. Okay, let's go get some iron. 
We're, we're also going to put rails around this too for safety because, you know, we don't want to fall off. Let's grab a bunch of these. Oh, you know what though? I think the rails require silicon, don't they? Damn it, Jim. We're kind of short on silicon right now. Um, I don't know exactly how many of these I'm going to use. Let's just grab that many. Um, we might... Yeah, I think we should come off of this one here. I know I need to hold control down. Okay, so that will be our drone platform. Why don't we go out one more too, just for the hell of it. <coughs> we'll pick you up. Uh, we won't pick you up. Need one more piece of iron. All right. Now, let's grab our drone station. Ooh, you know what we could do? We could get two of these out here. We don't need to right now. But yeah, maybe we... Uh, wait, is that the right side? Yeah, that's the right side. Yeah, maybe what we'll do, you know, I mean, eventually we're going to probably need another one so we could put the second one on this side when the time comes. Guess what? We need more power now. That doesn't surprise me. Oops, wrong place. Yeah, close enough. All right, let's see. We would need one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think uh, silicon to make the rails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do fourteen just in case. Whoops, shit. Uh, in case I miscalculated that. Hydration is low. What are you talking about? Hydration being low. Is our other silkworm done? Huzzah. Okay. Let's put you here. Uh, you go here. You come here. And we need a Zio, a water, and an O2. Yeah, we're going to need to make a bend for these. Two, three. Let's put the bin here. I'm just going to call it silk for now. Let's create you right next to the other one. And I can still walk through there okay. Excellent. All right, now we have this new gear option. And what that means is that we can then direct the flow of product. So we want you to be a supplier of silk. And we also want you to be a supplier of silk. We want you to be a demander of silk. And once we get the drones up and running, the drones will just make sure that the silk is transferred over to here until this is get, gets completely full, which won't take very long. And then we'll... Ultimately, what we should do is make a bunch of these and get a cloth production line going, which we could definitely do. Uh, it's not the highest priority right now, but something we can definitely do at some point here fairly soon. All right, let's grab... Uh, nope. Actually, you know what? Okay, here's what we also could do, at least for now, 
is you supply this, 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 uh, and this. No, what? I hit the wrong thing, didn't I? Supply. Supply and supply. Okay. And then we'll tell you to be a demander of iron. You are a demander of titanium. You of silicon. Uh, did I do that right? Yeah. You of magnesium. Cobalt for you. Um, we might as well also set you to aluminum, even though that particular one's not going to do aluminum. Oh, I, I didn't tell you this. I did set up a tier three for aluminum as well. Uh, let's make you the demander for just raw iridium. Okay. Um, you will demand obsidian. You will demand osmium. You can demand circuit boards, but that's not going to do anything until we get a circuit board production line going, which we will probably do at some point. You know what, though? Maybe I shouldn't set that right now just so it's one less thing for the processor to try and keep track of. So, yeah, we won't we won't worry about that right now. Overflow doesn't demand anything. It's just plain overflow. Uh, what we could do, though, is have you demand O2 from the gas extractors. And you can demand water in case you ever get emptied, which will probably never happen, but you never know. Uh, there we go. Okay. Um, silicon. You also demand silicon. You demand tree bark. As do you. Uh, where are you? Right there. And you supply tree bark. Okay. There's a lot more to do, of course, but that'll get us started anyway. Let's get some chow. Uh, what the hell? We'll eat a mushroom. Okay. Now, I intend to set these up all along here, too. The only reason I haven't yet, well, for two reasons. One, silicon is... I'm having trouble, you know, keeping that in quantity. But also, you know, we're going to be doing more expansions off of this little main walkway anyway. But we won't be doing any more expansions here. So let's start from this corner. And... Uh, there you go. Do that. Um... Yeah, these aren't going to line up exactly right because of these damn foundations. So irritating. Yeah, see? Damn it. I mean, I guess I could do that. It's just kind of wonk is all, you know? I 
don't think it's going to let me put one. Oh, never mind. It will. Um. I mean, at this point, you know, this is purely for aesthetics anyways. I wish it, you know, I wish it would like let you kind of clip it in. Hmm. That's not going to look good. All right, let's do, uh, let's come back over here. Oops. Yeah, I, I don't know what the... Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I wonder if... If we went out one more foundation, then it might actually even out. Oh, we're out of silicon. I might have to go... Mm, where are you at? Here we go. Let's just grab a few more of those. I might have to go out and actually hand gather silicon, hopefully for the last time in this playthrough. <laughs> um, what I was saying, though, is if we actually extend... Yeah, see, that does come out to the edge of here. So if we just extended this out a little further, we could get that to line up right. Okay. Oh, I hope that didn't just screw up my all my assignments. Damn it. Make sure you're deconstructing the fence and not the butterfly dome. Deconstruct fence, please. I want to see... F uh, there we go. Killing me, Smalls. Okay, let's take this down and this down. And if we push them out, I'm going to need another... Uh, iron to here we can at least get you know these here to to line up correctly okay good we're not going to be able to really get these the way they're supposed to so i guess yeah. All right, let's go get another piece of iron. All right, so... If we put this right smack dab in the center, I think the best we can do is... that... and this. Unless we... Unless we leave a... a little bit of a gap. Can we still... Yeah, we can't. Okay, so we can't go through there. It just doesn't look good, is the thing. But, you know, it's just what we have to work with, right? Um. Can I walk through there? No. <clears throat> okay. And then we'll have to do the, sec the same kind of idea here. Or we'll hold that one to the side a little bit. Hold that one to the side a little bit. And likewise over here. We're short one whoop, uh, one piece of silicon. Can you believe that? All right. Let's put the drone thingy back. And we want right about in the center there. Give me that uncommon larva. The other thing I could do is, <clears throat> you know, since the drone station is in the, is here, we could just hold these in. Like that. And it's more, like I said, again, it's more aesthetics than safety. 
But I just, I don't like the gaps right at the end of this, you know, because that's like right over the edge. So I think that's, oh, we got a butterfly display box. Just what I always wanted. Just what I, oh shit. We had a crash. Damn. That's the first crash in a while. I guess that's good than have, or, or, you know, better than having them all of the fucking time. But <sighs> it makes me so mad when this happens. <laughs> it's frustrating. All right. Let's try this again. Um, yeah. And I didn't save because, you know, of course I wasn't expecting a crash. Oh, you know what we could do to redeem ourselves, though? Had I already set up all of the assignments, the last thing I did was the was this. Yes. Um, We could just go ahead and make a second drone. Well, all right, let's do a science experiment, actually. There's a rare. If I pick this up, does this just wipe out all of our stuff, all of our assignments? It probably does, but I don't know. Yeah, see, it doesn't even have a thing. Well, that doesn't mean it's not still stored, though. It still might be. One way to find out, right? Okay, and we're doing this for science. We can put this back down now. I'm gonna hold it to right about there. All right, now let's go see if our assignments are back or if they're gone forever. They're still there. Okay, nice. So, it, so they're stored. They just don't appear until, uh, very good. Okay. That's super good to know. So yeah, you can pull up your drone base if you need to, or station if you need to, and then put it back down later and you'll still have all your assignments. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll tell you what. You guys basically saw my plan for the rails, so I'll take care of that off camera. Um, I need more silicon, obviously. Anyways, for that to work. Okay, so to make a drone, we need all that stuff. Let's just get a couple drones going so that way they can start working for us. I have a decent amount of... Here, let's save, by the way. I have a decent amount of rockets, and, you know, we're going to find a whole lot more rockets uh, when we go out and, and do more looting. But right now we have this many. So, here, I'm going to put the silicon back in here. Like I said, I'll take care of that off camera. So, that gives us, what, five, six, seven, eight? Do I have eight circuit boards? I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just iron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's make eight drones. And they'll start working for us immediately. Um, but then what we gotta do is we gotta go back to the Ooh, look at you. Nice. Um a, holy shit! A six hundred percent multiplier. That was a good find. We're gonna put that in a butterfly farm. Wow, okay. Um, let's make all these guys. Um, oh yeah, they're being made and they're just taking off. I was expecting to hear the little noise it usually makes. You see them taking off as soon as I make them? It does make a, a little bit of a noise. Okay. And then the, they're just chillaxing right there. You know why? Because... They went and checked to make sure all of those bins that I told them to, to fill up are full. And we haven't set up any of the extractors as suppliers yet. As soon as we do that, then they'll leave and, and they'll go grab the stuff and bring it back to us. Which is what we want them to do. Normal storm? Looks like it. Okay. Um, That butterfly was... A killer find. So let's make one of these right now. We need a tier two, a Zeo, and a bio. Uh, 
let's put you back in here. No, not in there, in here. Tier 2 fertilizer. A zeolite. Did we grab? Yeah, we grabbed that other one out of there. This is going to give us a huge insect boost. Let's just like right away. Um... Oh, I love those butterflies. They're so pretty. What? Okay, so this is giving us a 360 insect boost. Um, I don't have any fuses for that, so it's just going to have to run by itself. Let's do a save. So, let's see. Insects... Da -da 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 -da. Insects control... I want to get to the Tier 2 Beehive. They're also going to unlock Tier 2 Mutagen for us. This should pop any second because... Yeah, it's going to pop right now. Is it? You going to pop? That popped for us, but then we had the game crash, right? We had to. We got set back a little bit. There it goes. Okay. Um, so now... Insects. Yeah, we're, we're not... Yeah, we're, we're a little ways away from the T2 Beehive, but my plan is to make a bunch of these and start putting butterflies all over the place, uh, which will boost that significantly. All right, so let's see. We've got, uh, what did we get, eight drones going? Something like that? Nine drones, six drones, seven, eight. I think we can actually go back here and look at this. Yeah, okay. So basically it's saying right now you have eight idle drones. No, Nobody's currently working on supplying anything. Nobody's currently working on demanding anything. These are all the inventories that we've currently set up as suppliers. And these are all the inventories that we've currently set up as demanders. So now what we want to do is we want to go around to all of our tier three extractors and set them up as suppliers. Let's put you in here. We'll put you in here. Let's top off our food. And, uh, yeah, okay. Never mind. Well, okay. Do we have enough to set up two teleporters? Because, um, I want to put a teleporter at the fertilizer location pretty much to stay there all the time. We'll have teleporters in all a bunch of other locations when it's all said and done, but I mean for right now. That's going to uh require uh, that's going to two of those are going to take 662 thingamadoodles of energy. Okay, so we can support it with that. Um yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we'll pin this we're going to need a total of four pulsar, two obsidian, two zeo, two oz, and two super rots. Okay, so our base teleporter, I think what we'll do is we'll just put that right here. And we're going to call this Canyon Base. Okay. And now what we're going to do is... Yeah. We're going to go set the, the extractors to suppliers. The last one we will do will be the sulfur extractor way over at our fertilizer farm. And that's where we'll set down this teleporter and we're just going to leave it there. Did I set the uranium bin up as a demander? I don't know if I did. We'll have to do that when we get home. Or check it and make sure. Okay, so you are a supplier of uranium. Okay. Since we're over here, what I'm 
planning on doing, tentatively planning on doing, is building an, a, <clears throat> excuse me, building a small little food farm on this little flat area here. Uh, so the idea is we put down some kind of a structure. Um, I don't know yet exactly how, ooh, nice. That's a, oh, wow, got a blazer of quartz too. Um, I don't know exactly how big it will be. And also, you know, we're going to have to work around these trees. But what I envision is just a cute little food producing farm in this area, you know? And we don't need a, we don't need a lot of space for that. Um, we could even maybe, you know, do something here. Let's grab the frog eggs. There's a little bit more room in terms of not a lot of vegetation in the way. But you know, we'll find we'll find a good a good spot. We'll set down some kind of a structure somewhere down in here. And then we'll set up a few um, outdoor bean farms and some tier two beehives, an auto crafter, and let it go to town and just make us a whole bunch of food. Food for us to eat and also food for us to sell. There's quite a bit of space right here. Kind of wanted it by the water though. So maybe what we could do is set it up in this area here if it's not too terribly large. Uh, the other thing we could do actually is, is set it out. Oh, well, now we can't really set it out over the water because both the beehive and, well, the beehives need actual ground. The tier, the outdoor farms don't. So yeah, we have some options there. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that out. All right, let's go hit the other ones. The other tier three extractors. It's just so gorgeous down here, man. <laughs> I love it. Okay, you are a supplier of super alloy. There you go. So, the drones should already be on their way out here to grab that now, because I did set the super alloy bin up as a demander. But I don't remember, again, like I said, if I set up the uranium one. just want to see if we can spot it, some drones coming this way. They can't move quite as fast as I can with the Tier 3 jetpack, but they, they get around. But one thing they can do that I can't is they can, they can clip through structures. So they, it's just a direct line of sight, and if there's a rock or a mountain or a house or a tree in their way, they just go right through it. Which is really pretty damn cool. I would have thought we would have seen them by now, though. Maybe they're busy. Maybe they, Maybe I did set the uranium up and they're all working on that right now. I don't know. Anyway, we're getting t too far away from what, where we need to actually go. Alright, we'll set you up as a supplier of osmium. Do the same thing for our zeolite extractor up yonder. Okay. Next is our iridium. Is there any food in here? No, but you know what? We'll take all that stuff. Since I want to get a full complement of drones going as soon as possible, we'll probably do another looting episode in the next episode um, to get as many rocket engines and circuit boards as we can. Because most of that stuff we can get from looting, we don't have to make it ourselves. Okay, you are a supplier of iridium. Let's head over to the aluminum... Uh, extractor. You are a supplier of aluminum. Oh, 
Okay, and then let's see. We have the obsidian one to do, and we have the sulfur one to do. So I think what we'll do is go through the spires. We'll hit the obsidian one in the lava zone, and then we'll finish out at the sulfur one and put down our teleporter. Any food in here? Nope, well, we'll take all this. I mean, if nothing else, I can set the teleporter down and go back to the base and eat something. So we're fine. Any way you slice it. Hi, frog. Here, let's grab some frog eggs. Okay, we want to go this direction. Here's our obsidian extractor. You are a supplier of obsidian. You know, I got to thinking about something. The, um, they don't give you the tier for jetpack until the very end of the game. And what are you going to have at the very end of the game? You're going to have teleporters all over the place. You don't even need a fucking jetpack at that point. <laughs> I mean, you do, but you see what I'm saying? I wish they would make that available to us sooner. So, yeah, anyway, that's what I wish. You are a supplier of sulfur. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to set this right here. Um, and we're going to just call this, um, we'll call it waterfall. What I'm thinking about doing here, though, is expanding this to also produce uh, tier two fertilizer. Um, and maybe just making it one big ass vertical base, uh, or I guess we could we could come back this way. It's just that we have to keep the the crafter, the auto crafter that's making the tier one fertilizer, you know, close enough to be able to reach that and this. So we can't really raise that up a whole bunch, but we could probably go back, you know, another thingy or so. Man, all that backpack space is just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, what are you? You're an uncommon. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to leave you there. They're, they're all over the place. Okay. Let's go back to our canyon base. Our first time using a teleporter. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we made pretty good progress in today's episode. I think we're going to wrap things up here. That was such a lucky find, finding that 600% butterfly. We need an insect multiplier fuse. <laughs> uh, but I think the plan for the next episode... Actually, you know what? I want to do one more thing before I let you guys go. I want to put one of these guys up. Oops. Do we have three circuit ports? Oh, yeah. We've got three circuit ports. Yeah, let's put our trade rocket up. Uh, our Whoops. Our main one that we're going to keep here at the base. I'll probably have one, uh, a couple of others at, you know, mass production stations, especially our fusion cell production. That's the thing that's going to really make us a lot of money. Um, but we're going to have kind of a main one here at the base as well. Are you... Okay. Just curious to see if the drones are are working. And we need to eat too. Let's, uh, let's grab one of these. Tasty. Put you in there. Put the seeds in here. All right, I'll, I'll deal with the rest of that inventory later. Yep, they're all out working. I have... All drones right now are working on... 
supplying our demand. Which well, is really cool. Oh. Uh, yeah, we, we need to set up your... I didn't set up the uranium bin. Got to remember to do that. So let's do that. Okay, you are a demander of uranium. There we go. Cool. Oh, I just saw a drone fly by. Cool. All right. So what we're going to do? Oh, we're going to do a trade rock before I let you guys go. Right. So let's go here. Let's go here. Make We'll pin that. We need three circuit boards. We have everything else we need. See the drone just go by there. Uh, so where are we going to put this? That's the next question. Can we... Could we plop this like right here? In this gap? No, I don't think it's going to let us do that. I think it wants to be on the ground. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Okay. Let's see if we can fit it over here next to the other rocket launcher. Turn it that way. Yeah, it's not going to behave, man. What the hell? There's, uh, it doesn't like any spot on this plateau. Hmm. What about if we put it, oh, yowzers, if we put it over here, this is a little bit, okay, well, it'll go there. Wait, did I, did I try it at that angle? Here, let's go back. I don't know. Oh, I wonder if it's because that root is there. This thingy right here. So, yeah, we... Wait, did we try it at this angle? There's just not enough ground for it to be happy here, unfortunately. Um. All right, well, then... I don't want it 100 miles away from an, on the base because we're going to be running out and checking it a lot, you know? Um, can we put it up here? No, that's kind of jank. There's that spot there. We can't, um, yeah, that's, that's only going to turn on the cardinal directions, isn't it? Hmm. There goes our power. I don't really like it there, to be honest with you. Um, all right, here, let's get another fusion generator put up. Oh, you know what? Let's go check these. Nice, we have fish eggs. Okay, I think we can only put two fish eggs in a single aquarium. So let's just grab those for now. Look at that pretty pink butterfly. So cool. I was thinking about putting the aquarium right in the middle here. I'm not sure if that's going to be in the way or not. Let's just stick all this in here for now. Okay. I want to try one more thing before we decide to leave this here. Because I'm not... 
super happy with its placement. Is it possible for us to put it over here instead? It is. Okay. Um, I wished I could get it to connect to our existing, you know, foundation. The damn thing wants to be on the ground. Uh, you know what, though? We do have those that are kind of in the way, aren't they? All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, um, I'm just going to set this up there for now. And I'll see if I can come up with a better solution for this later. Um, because we already know it's not going to want to go on the rock there because it wouldn't let us, you know, do it out there. But this in particular, where is it at? The tier two storage locker. That's like the absolute number one thing I want to go for first. Um, and that's going to take 5,000 space bucks. We already have 500 just from looting. And it's possible that we might find that just by, you know, um, opening up the safes and the ships with the fusion cells. Except for I did read in the patch notes that they kind of nerfed that, so I don't know how badly they nerfed it. But we're 10% of the way there anyway. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And um, in the next episode, the tentative plan will be for us to go out and do some more looting uh, so we can get more circuit boards, more rockets to make more drones, and maybe even enough space bucks to get that to tier two locker um, before we you know, start making our own money. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.